Hi guys, welcome back to DCC Delete YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve the seventh problem of PO2 Delete code. So let's see the question and let's figure out what answer it's going to get. Okay, so let's start. So the question is we are given a string num representing a very large integer. Okay, a large integer. Be very careful, large integer. Return the largest valued odd integer. Largest valued odd integer as a string that is a non-empty substring of num that is a non-empty substring of num or an empty string if no odd integer exists a substring is a contiguous sequence of character within a string so let me first uh, make the question clear then uh, make the approach clear then we can proceed on to code okay so what it is demanding is it is demanding the largest sequence of odd number okay like in case of 52 you can see 2 is not an odd so remove it 5 is an odd well and good if it's very large like 1 0 1 3 2 1 0 1 5 0 can you guess what would be the answer our answer should be from I would mark it from answer should be from this integer part this thing because this is the largest integer that is odd how we see odd we see odd if by checking if the last integer the integer at the last index is not divisible by 2 that is it if it's mod 2 not return 0 then it's an odd number then we can just simply check we can see if we, any no matter how long the string the num is we can go to the last integer and we can check if the last integer is odd or not. If it's odd, then well and good. Just return the full integer up to that index. Okay. So what would be the approach? If this is the given thing, okay, I would explain you now. So I would be going to explain you the logic. Okay, let me get well. Suppose this is the num, this is the num we have given. This is the num we have given. Okay. We have been given. I would start checking from the last number that's the last index that is 0 I would see if 0 is even or odd it's divisible by 2 it gives 0 it's an even so my whole number is even what I would do now I would say let's move on to the next index the, from the last only and I would find that 5 is an odd number we all know so this whole number now becomes an odd number okay so now we will return the whole number. That's it. That's it. We just have to check the last number, last index, and we have to see if it's odd or even. If odd, then just return the string till that number, till that index. Okay. Now let's see the code. Oh, wait a second. So this is the code. Okay. I think it's visible. Okay. What I did was. In the, I initialize an index integer uh, to minus 1. I did it to minus 1 because if it remains minus 1, then I know that there is no index where there is an odd number. Okay? Means it's an even string. So I will return a null, null string. Okay? Well, and what I will do is, I would start checking from the last index. As I have explained to you, I would check from the last index. I would see if that a uh, particular index the last index the last is odd then i would just keep that index in i i will keep that i in an index and i will break means we have find out that a five in our example it was five and then i would just return uh, the substring that is num dot substring zero to int that index plus one why i did this because index plus one Index was initialized to minus 1. That's why I had to delete it to plus 1. Okay. And 0 to that particular index. Let me explain you. You have seen the code. Uh, now I have find 5. So what I will do is I will return the num from 0 to this index. Whatever this index may be. I will return this uh, num till this index. So this is pretty much the code. I would like to submit it. Oh. And you can very clearly see that it got accepted. So if this video was helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to Dacis in Eta YouTube channel. 
with this bye bye take care